just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he is drilled at the 20-yard line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. He's at midfield. Tackle the 39-yard line. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. From the 25-yard line, first down. He's tackled at about the 13. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He fights forward to about the 10. And this play is number eight on the drive. here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play from the 10 yard line it's third down throws and he's got a man touchdown These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Levine's a guy that's proven to his coaching staff. Doesn't matter if he's on the road or if he's at home. He's a complete player no matter where he's playing a football game. Yeah, I think they know that they can count on him when he gets on the road and gets in this kind of tough environment because I think he has so much confidence in his skills. He can catch the ball, he can run the ball. He seems to do it all, and you're right. He seems to be the same guy whether he's playing at home or on the road. Nice run there. Seven-yard scamper on the keeper. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Slings it. Johnson picks up six yards with that grab. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. made right around the 40. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds at the 44-yard line. the chance he'd be brought down before getting to the marker. It was a great effort there to get beyond for the first down. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. their own 41 yard line first down brought down right around the 48 yard line Around the 40-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. That makes it second and two. And he's taken down at the 20. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Bearcats with a touchdown lead. We're back for more action here in quarter number two. Yeah. 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 
and he throws it away. From the 20 yard line, second down. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. We got a change at the quarterback position. Got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. This is the eighth play of this drive. From the one yard line, second down. And he gets the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So a nine play, 81 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. out to his wide out. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. From their own 47-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Right, right, Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. And he's immediately tackled. Ford picks up about four yards with a catch. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. First and ten. Ball on the 41. They hand it off. Nice run to the left there. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. And he's tackled around the 38 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Good tackle there in space. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Look for it on the ground, and he's not going to get there. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle right around the 36-yard line.
So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Seven yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. out to around the 18. He's had no problem finding running room today. That makes it 100 yards. You just can't say enough about the job the offensive line has done. They've kept the running lanes open and given him all kinds of space to maneuver. Inside the 10. Big play and it's first and goal. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Pays off. Touchdown. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day. And you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. And he tacks on the extra point. Sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. The Mustangs know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. And they make the stop at the 46. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration, what he did at the end of the route, that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. Easy, easy. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. Catches it. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Fires quickly. He's got the tailback on another catch. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. It's up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Well, we've played a half of football. The Bearcat with an 18-point cushion. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or, you know, change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You've got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Levine fields at the 17. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Makes the first down catch. He's tackled at the 41. He fights forward to about the 43. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 43. They go to the left for a nice game. That's a gain of five on the play. Third down. pitches it they'll wrestle him down in the backfield they might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play action pass there but by going to the ground they didn't have much of an opening he gets it away and this is a really nice punt so this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback and here we go with the offense ready to get things going again Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at about the 31. out to about the 32-yard line. 
brings up second and nine. From their own 32-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. out to about the 44-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. He has some room. Makes it to the 34. his way to the 23-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he is drilled at the 27. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. From the 27-yard line, second down. And they push him out around the 24-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Complete. He's got room. Down at about the 13. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13 yard line. Quick throw. Caught. Touchdown. the PAT. So an 11 play, 80 yard drive and they put up 7 points. The score now, 28-3. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Steps out of bounds at the 30. That brings them second and five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And he's taken down at about the 35. Gaining five on the way. That'll bring up third and inches. That's three down and one to go. The Bearcats with a huge lead. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Down he goes. 
the 31 yard line. to convert here on another third down. Pitches back, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 45. First down. Shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. This is the ninth play of this drive. And he's going to be sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Fourth and long here after the sack. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. The Bearcats came out from the opening kick, and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers. You can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers. The defense has done their job. It's about as good as you could hope for. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. He's taken down at the 44. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Just under three to go in regulation. Run right, hit in the backfield. the toss left. Makes it out to about the 46. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. And 
this one's all but wrapped up. The Bearcats take this one, 28-3. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.